Hello everyone, I'm Troy Hubert from Classy Bashes Catering and I'm doing a series for my social media, Classy Bashes Catering VIP. And today I'm here with an entrepreneur I've been knowing since like 2018. Her name is Tweed and I want her to uh, tell you a little bit about herself and we're gonna go into her journey on social media. Take it away Tweed. Wow, thank you so much, Troy, for having me here. I am excited to share my journey with you all. Hope you can hear me okay. I'm gonna talk as loud as I can. But I started YouTube back in 2012. I was working a job like I know many of you are, and I wanted to make my big break on social media. And I had a mentor at the time who told me that like video was the way to go. So I took their advice and I just learned all that I could about YouTube and making videos and the biggest advice that I could get was just do it so I made a lot of videos and didn't really do a whole lot of noise like I'm doing now but from 2012 up until now is when I got started okay nice tweet yeah uh, yes I've been doing YouTube since 2018 and uh, when I first started out uh, I was kind of mediocre on it uh, mediocre on it so you know I looked at a few other videos and looked at some of the big-time youtubers and uh, that's how I honed in on my craft of uh, being a content creator and uh, uh, branding my, my business classic bastards catering on YouTube so tweet I want to ask you a few questions about uh, different things about social media and social media branding and the first question I would like to ask you is tell me about your journey on YouTube since you've been on this since 2012 well my journey is is uh, I made a whole lot of videos okay I didn't feel like I went viral on any of them I just recently went viral since 2012 so like for anyone who's watching and who want to get their youtube started like stay encouraged because everything you want always come to pass but it's those who stay consistent and that's what i've been since 2012 i have been consistent with my youtube and but now i just decided to take it to the next level so it's 2022 oh 10 years later <laughs> and uh, YouTube is still here, so it's here to stay, and um, I think it's just a great platform. Oh, okay, cool. Thank you, Tweet. And another question I got for you, Tweet, is tell me about the numbers on YouTube and the analytics that you do to try to bring more viewers and trending topics and create your content for your social media brand, your uh, YouTube channel. Wow, that's a big one, Troy. Like, I should get you on my consulting <laughs> schedule. <laughs> that's a good one. That's a good question. Um, so, first of all, like, the numbers. So, first you want to be able to get to 100 subscribers as your first milestone, right? Yep. Uh, and it, it, it seemed like it's hard at first until you do it, you know? <laughs> So that's what it was for me. It was just hard at first, but it was mental. I was just mentally telling myself it was hard. When you working with somebody who make it look easy, like Troy from Classic Masters Catering, like it becomes easy. So that's what I want more people to know when they watch this video and other people who are successful on YouTube, like uh, you've got to be around success because success leaves clues. I did more hashtags this week. Okay, so that increased my numbers. I'm about to tell y'all my numbers too. But Troy, okay, has some numbers that have, are just out of the water. So um, hashtags, I, I, I did more hashtags this week. I got out of my mind and just stopped trying to be perfect with videos and just posted them, you know. It's great content, but like, you know, I'm trying to put music behind everything and trying to put fonts and letters and have every, like it doesn't take all that you know to get more people to be interested in what you have to share with them via video one more thing i did troy is um shorts oh my goodness shorts everybody needs to be doing shorts and that's how my numbers have been able to just like oh my goodness it's just through the roof 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Tweet. Good. So short says one of the number one things and uh, how to videos. Uh, tweet is good at and also what tweet is also good at is doing inspirational and motivational type posts. And I'm telling you, if you look at her channel, she really, uh, really goes into a deep mindset of what you need to do to stay motivated uh, in this YouTube game. And tweet. This is the third question I have for you. Why did it take you so long to have success on YouTube like you're having right now? Why Why it take me so long? Oh, you to ask some good questions. <laughs> it took me so long because, like, I was trying to be perfect, you know? I had a lot to lose, first of all, which was, I thought, my reputation. Um, but really, once I got out of my head, it took me this long. Uh, to just really get out of my own way. So fear was one thing that kept me from this much success, just fear of failure. When I just, you know, saw how much success Troy was having, I just decided to just go for it, just do it. Um, another reason that it took me so long was because I was everywhere, all over all the social media platforms. If you Google my name, you'll be able to see like um, <laughs> everything that I've been doing. But YouTube is about building a relationship like all the other social platforms. And that's just what I've been doing here lately is building more of a relationship with YouTube. So that's what took so long, Troy. Well, okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah. that's why I've only, only been on there since 2018. And I done had a little bit of su success on there. So I'm looking forward to the new things that I can be doing on YouTube this year as far as my branding and marketing. And Tweet, the next question I got for you today is, what can you share with us about YouTube, about what you have learned this year about algorithms and posts and creating content on YouTube. Okay, thank you again for that question because that's a good one. It leads up to, so I'm a numbers person, so I like numbers. And like right now, that's what I really what I want to share because you know, numbers don't lie, right? So f we've been tracking, Troy and I have been tracking our numbers for the last three weeks or so. And as far as the algorithms in YouTube, so um, you want to look at how many hours that you are bringing into YouTube, okay? I talked about subscribers a couple of questions ago, which the first step was to get to 100 subscribers. So once you get there, you want to get to 1,000 subscribers next, right? And then, so it's not just about the subscribers, it's also about the, the, the hours that you bring into YouTube. YouTube wants you to bring in 4,000 hours before you can start getting monetized and, and sponsors and ads and can start you know, coming into your channel to help monetize you and your audience. So yeah, that's what kind of like what we knew we needed to be. And you know, we just started posting and sharing videos. So this week I was able to bring in, upload 25 videos, 25 videos. And it brought me 5,000 more views, okay? And I was actually able to go viral for the first time, y'all. Congratulations, Tweet. Yes, I was yeah. actually able to go viral for the very first time in 10 years on YouTube. So YouTube is where it's at. Once you know what to do, and you get with people who also are doing it too and having success, okay? Troy's having a lot of success. I'm starting to have success now and I'm excited about content creating again. I'm excited about YouTube again. I'm not just somebody who's watching YouTube. I'm more of a content creator on YouTube now. So yeah, I'm excited. I hope I answered your question. <laughs> yeah, you answered my question. And Tweet, this is the last and final question. Okay. How can our audience be able to follow you on all of your social media? Okay, so what y'all can do is go to vernitrathomas.com. That's my website. Go there and book an appointment with me. Book a free appointment, okay? It's like a meet and greet. Also, you can follow me on Instagram. I'm, I'm also building my Instagram channel, Vernitra Thomas Gold, G-O-L-D and also on youtube subscribe to my youtube channel and y'all please hit that bell icon it's one thing to subscribe 
but you really get into the algorithms of like the YouTube master that you like the content when you hit that bell icon and hit the all. It'll ask you to say none, it'll say personalized, and at the top it'll say all. Hit that all so that each time I upload a video, like you'll know what it's about. And I upload like nature. Nancy like, Bass is catering. I'll make your food dreams come true. Thank you for watching my video.